Jesus took Peter, James and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. His face and clothes shone with a brilliant white light. Where did that glorious light come from? It came from the deep mystery within. St. Paul writes to Timothy, who was the leader of the church in the city of Ephesus, telling them, beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, says the Gospel of John. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Almost equally awesome is the fact that we are partaking of this glory, and the light is shining through us as well. Commenting on the Transfiguration, Pope John Paul II wrote, In contemplating Christ's face, we become open to receiving the mystery of Trinitarian life, experiencing ever anew the love of the Father and delighting in the joy of the Holy Spirit. St. Paul's words can then be applied to us. Beholding the glory of the Lord, we are being changed into His likeness, from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Let us surrender then to the mystery and open ourselves to it.